Is he pissing on these people? <laughs> oh. Appreciate you guys stopping back by. Listen, hey, before we get into anything, I have to tell you guys, I just watched the Poirier versus Hooker fight. If anybody watches UFC and you have not seen that fight yet, please, after you watch this, go watch that fight. It is insane. I'm telling you, it is the most entertaining fight I have ever seen. It's crazy. Every single punch, I thought somebody was getting knocked out. I was scared. I got scared there for a minute. It's crazy. But listen, something that's just as scary as that, um, The weekend, all his videos, it's, I don't know what's going on. I mean, I didn't do a reaction to Blinding Lights, but I know that that video was crazy as fuck. And the, the Too Late, his last one that just came out before this, I didn't know how crazy it was until I was trying to explain it to somebody quickly. I didn't want to try to give him the whole layout of it. So I remember I told him, I was like, okay, these girls are driving, they find the weekend's head, they pick it up, take it home with them, they're in love with him, so they hire a stripper, kill the stripper, cut off his head, put the weekend's head on his body, fuck him, and ride his face. And as I was explaining that story, I was like, Jesus, um, yeah, I don't know. That's it, pretty much. So it kind of just seems like that's the theme that he's going with for um, these videos uh, from his album, After Hours. I don't know, if anybody, if there's like a deeper message, cause from what I've heard, it's like, they kind of go in order. Um, somehow they all tie into each other. I don't know, if you guys know what is going on with all that, talk to me in the comments, let me know. Cause I have no idea. This shit to me just seems like a cry for help. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how else to explain it. So we'll see if this video follows suit. But before we get into it, if you guys are not subscribed to the page, click that button for me, please. Also, go follow me on Instagram and go show some love over there. All right. And if you want extra perks to the page, if you want to vote on different reactions that I do, jump on over to my Patreon. You get behind the scenes looks. You can chat with me one on one. It's just a great way for you guys to show your support to the channel and to help me continue to grow. Also, if you guys have products or anything that you make and sell online, you can send it to this P.O. box right here. It's in the description as well. I open everything on camera, give you guys shout outs on here, on my Instagram. Just a great way for me to help promote you guys. Cool? Now let's get into this video. You caught me by surprise. This man looks like he just got done getting plastic surgery with them two crazy bitches from the last video. Oh my god, he looks like a uh, like a black quagmire. Just disrespectful. <laughs> oh. Listen, the irony of it, man, the irony of this whole look. So many girls look like this after they get all that shit done to their face. Their face just looks swollen and, and just obtuse and it just... Any other type of descriptive word that you could think of that would not be correct for how a face should look. It's definitely giving off like the Joker vibes, like just how he's dancing and shit. Is he pissing on these people? 
<laughs> oh, I was about to say. Oh my God, I thought we had another R. Kelly case on our hands. That I don't know if that was on purpose for him to look like he was pissing on that woman's face. Boy, oh man, my heart was racing for him. He was about to get me too real fast. Level of disrespect in this video. I said some things that I should never say. Yeah, I broke your heart like someone did to mine. And now you won't love me for a second time. Now you won't love me for a second time. And that looks like Selena. So you hear Selena? Did y'all hear that shit? Hold on. Listen, listen. He said Selena. I knew that looked like Selena. What does that have to do with... I don't know what's about to happen with that. I hope not what I think is going to happen. But what I got to say, besides the fact that this man's videos are just disturbing, you know, ridiculous, the message behind them and the lyrics in the video are golden. It's like this man is... I don't want to... I'm not trying to call him a genius, but shit, if somebody else... Called him a genius. I'm not gonna. I ain't gonna look at him funny. I had to go back a little further so we can watch this shit play through. Be surprised if he really shot himself in the head in a damn music video. Oh. oh, I'm scared. Listen, and this just it reminds me more of the Joker, which I'm sure is that's what he's kind of playing off of um, with the whole gun and shit. Because in the movie, um, the Joker he takes the gun to that. Uh, whatever talk show that he goes on and he's and he's doing the shit and he actually shoots it like so that's that makes sense that he's doing this so that really just means he's about to shoot somebody there Ain't that some shit? The whole time it's performing, the crowd doesn't move. They don't clap. They don't smile. But not until he shoots himself is when they applaud him. Or is that just because the the performance was over and now they can act? I don't know. I don't. It was kind of weird that the crowd didn't move the entire time. I mean, the lady was getting pissed on and she just kind of acted like. This wasn't her first rodeo. I did enjoy that video. That was uh, that was fun to watch. It's, the shit had me on the edge of my seat several times throughout the video. I didn't know what was gonna happen next. I did like it though. It was not as uh, morbid as the last one, which I think is good. Um, but I mean, just his his skill level is ridiculous. I mean the music that he makes it just it conveys so many different emotions and it can conjure so many different emotions from the listeners you know depending on how they interpret it or what they're going through at the time it's the dude is talented. I mean just pure plain and simple he is 
talented. And it's, I mean, it's fun to watch. We're witnessing one of the greatest ever do his thing right in front of us. You guys talk to me in the comments. Let me know how you feel about this video. Out of his videos from his After Hours album, which one's your favorite? I don't know, I don't even know how many he has. I've only seen three. I've seen Blinding Lights, Too Late, and this one. So I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know what you think. You guys stay safe, stay healthy. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.